Hi everyone, welcome back to another interview series. My name is Meher from Newfoundland and Labrador. And today I have the privilege to interview Ellie Hockman from Tacoma, Washington. Hi Ellie, how are you doing? Hey, I'm doing good. Thank you so much for having me. Thank you for being here. So Ellie is a career coach and the founder of Rock and Secure. She is a dedicated she has dedicated to helping professionals excel in their job searches particularly in the field of industrial organization IO psychology. With a background in recruiting and a master's degree in organizational psychology, Ellie combines her experience and education to often specialize coachings that transform job seekers into confident candidates. She is passionate about teaching effective interview skills and guiding clients to secure better job offers through personalized coaching programs. So Ellie, my first question for you is why it is important for job seekers to have a career clarity before applying to any job? Great question. When I think of career clarity, I often think of a piece of advice that I got when I was learning how to disc golf. Have you ever been disc golfing before? No. Okay. So I'll try to explain it a little bit. So when you're disc golfing, uh, to, to finish the hole, you mm -hmm. have to uh, throw your disc into a basket. And that basket is uh, set up to have some chains on top of it. So you can throw your disc into the chains so that it'll fall into the basket. Okay. Now, when I was learning how to disc golf, someone told me uh, it was something along the lines of small target, small margin of error. So yeah. instead of just aiming towards the basket in general, you want to actually find one of those single chain links mm -hmm. in the chain and aim towards that. Because even if you miss, you'll probably hit one to the side of it or below it, and that's, you'll still land in the basket. Oh. And I think this analogy is really good for the job search because if you are aiming towards, if you're just kind of generally aiming, mm -hmm. if you are the disc and the basket is your job, and you're just kind of aiming in general, you're not really likely to land in the basket. Yeah. However, if you aim at something really specific, you're likely to land there or somewhere around it and mm -hmm. still land in the basket. So that's the benefit of career clarity just for the job search alone, not to even mention how much more enjoyment and engagement and fulfillment you will get from the job once you're actually in it. Yeah. And what engagement and enjoyment and fulfillment means from the job perspective, and I know this from my background in organizational psychology as well as my own personal experience, is that you are going to be working in a job that's aligned with your values, okay. aligned with your skill sets and your areas of expertise. And so then you will not only be doing well and be productive, you're more likely to be promoted. You're more likely to mm. get raises. And so it's one simple step at the very beginning that helps not only in the job search, but then also in that actual job as well. Um, and so that is why career clarity is so important. And that's a really important first step when you are job searching. And is there any specific activity or something that you do with your clients to have that clarity uh, as the foundation before going forward. Absolutely. So in my area of expertise, which is industrial organizational psychology, there are a lot of different jobs that you can do with that degree. So the degree itself is pretty niche and not a lot of people have heard of it, but there is a lot of different things you can do. And so one of my biggest challenges that I help my clients through is picking what they want to do with their degree now that they have it. And what a lot of them will start to do or maybe try to do on their own, is they will try to collect data. They'll try to collect information. They'll go mm -hmm. outside to try to collect information. And what I actually recommend is doing that third. The first two steps are actually looking inward. Um, and so I mentioned this earlier. I talked about how doing work that aligns with your values and skills and areas of expertise. All right. Those are the, the first steps. Um, so taking a look at you and what you value, mm -hmm. and then what value you can provide. So those are steps one and two. Then once you've done that, then you can go and start to collect data based off of that internal work. So we always work internally first, and then we go out and research a little bit based off of what we know about ourselves and mm -hmm. the value we can bring and the value that we care, the mm -hmm. values that we care about. Those are great tips, Eddie. Thank you very much. So for the audience watching or listening for the first time, I'm going to ask Ellie a couple of questions. I'm going to post them on a daily basis, kind of a journey with us the whole week. So you can like, share, comment. So tune in next time for another great question with Ellie.